the first starter for the our first Pokemon and our starter Pokemon for the Pokemon Platinum Randomi not randomizer. It's a Pokemon Platinum Egg Lock. I'm a true champion. What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed, bringing you guys the very first episode of our Pokemon Platinum Egglog. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, show some love on that like button down below. If you're new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you're brand new, welcome out. My name is Chase. I also go by Crimson Seabed. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We are here today. We have so many, and don't mind the don't mind the the continuation. I wanna I wanna I was testing out some things to make sure everything worked well. But we are here today in Sinnoh, and I am so very excited. I hope you guys are as well. It has been a long, 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 long time since I have played 4th Gen games, and I'm so excited, and I hope you guys are too. <clears throat> need to get a good, need to get a good Rowan voice. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> He's got the mustache and everything. It's flickering around. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Nope, nope, nope. I'm actually a Pokemon Master, just in case you didn't know. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you'd please. All right. Heard that wonderful click, I know. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I don't need to make the joke. I don't need to make the joke, but I will anyways. I'm a boy. All right, so you're a boy. Yes, I am. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, my name, kind sir, uh, is Crimson. C-R-I-M-S-O-N. Crimson. I am Crimson. That is my name. There we go. Boop. Your name is Crimson. Crimson. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you're Crimson. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. I've never seen him before in my life. Not with that hair. What might his name be? All right, um, we have to, uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with Tyler. Tyler will be his name. Nice, and, uh, shout out, shout out to, shout out to Deathly. We're gonna, you know, give him the, give, we're, Tyler's gonna be our adversary, because the Mr. Streamer Man voice is a great voice that needs to not go to waste in Let's Plays. Tyler, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes, that's what I said. 
Well, all right, Crimson. The time has come. Crimson, your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Head first, don't put your floaties on nothing. You are diving right in into the world of Pokemon. That is what we are doing, head first. Absolutely. <clears throat> Pokemon are by our side, always. I hope you will under, uh, oh, that's the Rowan voice. <clears throat> Pokemon are by our side, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program, Let's Ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Ha ha! That's fine. All right. Uh, Tyler, what are you doing here? Uh, there you are. Hey, Crimson, did you see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon too. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? I bet you stream from it all the time. Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right. We're gonna go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Crimson, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million. All right, don't I get an item? Isn't there a potion or some sort in there? Is that, when did that change? Pokemon basics, Pokemon basics, but yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. I don't even get a potion. What is this? What is this nonsense? All right, let's go downstairs. What's up, mom? I'm just chilling. I know you let Tyler in the house again. It's fine. Crimson, Tyler already left. I don't know what it was about, but he was sure in a hurry. I'm glad you walked all the way across the room to tell me that. We're, we're, we're really just feet apart from each other. Mere, mere feet apart from each other. <laughs> oh yes, Crimson, Crimson. <laughs> don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't because you're a nerd. So, well, take care, sweetie. Mom, really, my self-esteem was just fine before you had to remind me that I don't have any Pokemon or any running shoes for that matter because this is painfully slow. Ooh, thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Crimson. Uh, hey, I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. Oh, man. Uh, oh, geez, I forgot something. All right, what'd you forget now? Did you forget? <clears throat> when'd you forget? Hi, Tyler's mom. Hi. It's just me, just walking in your house. Don't mind me. I'd better take my bag and my journal, too. Oh, oh, hey, Crimson. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. He must be, like, really, like, must have had some debt from somewhere. I don't even know. I don't even know what, but $10 million just seems to be a great number that he just keeps tossing out. So, I, I'm, you know, it is, it is, it is what it, what it is going to be, I suppose. Here he is. All right. Where's that 10 million? You need that 10 million now? What do you need that 10 million for? What are, you, what are you gonna carry it in? Your bag? You can't fit 10 million in your bag. Too slow. All right, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go into tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So what you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to the sand gym town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it! Hold everything! <laughs> I gotta flicker the mustache around. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey, uh, Crimson, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go in the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do, what to do. The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Path of darkness? Set them down this dark, steep path of revenge? Revenging the Uchiha clan? Hmm, you two truly love Pokemon, do you? Yeah, I'd say so. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again, you too, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can You can ask a hundred times, you can ask ten million times, because I've got an odd fixation with that number. The answer will never change. We're both answer a hundred times, we love Pokemon. Right, Crimson? Yeah, I answered, yeah, okay, yeah. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. <laughs> Worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh, uh, uh... 
Well, then forget about me. We give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. How big of you. Very well, then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Now, what? What? I'm gonna prepare myself for this one. <clears throat> Professor Rowan! You left your briefcase at the lake! Oh? Is something wrong here? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We're just side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan, I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Crimson, you can choose first. I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. All right. So for those of you guys who don't know what an Egglock is and the Send Me Eggs video that happened, this starter does not matter. Whatever Pokemon we choose here literally does not matter um, because we are going to swap it out of the PC box for an egg to replace our starter with. So, um, and all of our encounters, standard Nuzlocke rules apply. You get the first Pokemon to, in you, you encounter the first Pokemon on the route. If it doesn't work out, um, you know, you obviously forfeit that encounter, but you catch first Pokemon on every route. And then uh, normally you would nickname that Pokemon, keep it in your party, you know, box it in case for future use. But in this case, uh, we will swap it out with the eggs that you guys sent in. And we received almost 300 eggs, which was absolutely incredible. Thank you guys all so much for that. Um, so we will choose our starter this episode. We will be hopefully, you know, continuing on getting a few encounters, maybe hatching a couple eggs, all that good stuff as well. So that's why I wanted to make a note about it before our starter shows up that it doesn't really matter. We'll use um, rare candies to level up the eggs in which to, re you know, replicate the level. So uh, obviously the church that we chose is at level five. So when we end up, you know, if say it gets to level six or level seven, by the time we can swap out eggs from the PC box, we will level that Pokemon up to level seven to match where our Turtwig was. And that looks like a dance move that Tyler would do. So I am a okay with that because he sent out the Chimchar. And frankly, that's... That's 100% okay. Um, I haven't even thought about a question of the day yet. Question of the day, who is your favorite Sinnoh starter? Turtwig, Chimchar, or Piplup? Let me know in the comment section down below. I personally uh, have always been a big Turtwig fan. I love Torterra. Um, I obviously have, you know, overall I love Torterra. You know, I feel like in competitive use, things like Empoleon, things like Infernape are just a smidgen better, but um, I do really, really enjoy those... Um, I do really, really enjoy those Pokemon as a, uh, as, 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 you know, as competitively, but Torterra, look at it. It's just a turtle with a mountain on its back. And this, this Chimchar is just giving me the work right now. I, I think because when I was testing it earlier, so the reason why I said there was like another save file and I didn't, you know, don't mind that is because I was trying to make sure that the eggs imported in and all that good stuff. So, uh, we won't need to worry about all that. Um, but yeah, and we're going to, so like I said, level six. So here we are at level six. So our starter will at least be level six when we get it and uh it's gonna be it's gonna be my entire it, it, i'm gonna talk all this about torterra and then we're gonna trade in our 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 turtwig for a actual turtwig egg that one of you guys sent in so uh we do got to go talk with our mom and all that stuff i am so excited i am so excited to play through this game i tried my hand of platinum a while ago um my save file corrupted it was on like an older pc so like a lot of them like files just wouldn't stick around on that so i'm really excited to pound through this with you guys What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Tyler are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think that what the mild Pokemon might have done to you two. Crimson, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sanjum Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, Crimson. Put these on. Oh, thank you. I was tired of moving at a snail's pace, Mom. I really was. Going to Sanjum Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions and break the fourth wall. Press the B button and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Wonder what the B button is, considering we're both people. Always gotta break the fourth wall, though. Always gotta break it. Oh, there's Tyler again. Too slow, Crimson. I'm sick of waiting. I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? 
You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of it. Me and you together, we got nothing to fear. Mr. Streamer Man. Mr. Streamer Man. Oh, the Verity Lakefront. Oh, and I got to remember that we can get an encounter there, too. So we can get, like, a few, like, this route, the one above Sand Gem, and then this one as well. And we can hatch those eggs and do all that fun stuff. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on the sign. There's a legendary Pokemon. What's going on? Is that Markiplier with his blue hair? Is that 2015 Markiplier? <clears throat> I got to Was not prepared for all the voices. The flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Sire Markiplier is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. <laughs> Allow me to pass. Step aside. Whoa, that really was Markiplier. What was that about? Weird guy. He was yelling at his webcam a lot. Why do you have a webcam by the lake? Okay, Crimson, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. I'm not doing a, a Mesprit cry. I'd try to, but Mesprit's that one? Verity? Mesprit? I think so. Did you hear that, Crimson? That was legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. But wait, I didn't bring my butterfly net. We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs, P-O-K accent, E-Balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if he needed anything. Okay, Crimson, I'll race you. First one of the Professor's lab in Sandstrom Town rules. Oh, so you got your 10 million now, apparently, huh? Hmm. Don't need me or my money no more. Ha, huh, I see how it is. All right. All right, let's run over to Sandgem Town and uh, go talk to ye old Professor Rowan. Boo! That's my Bidoof accent. I don't know how good that actually turned out, but I think 10 out of 10, I am a Bidoof at heart, okay? I am a Bidoof. Let's go on ahead and head up over yonder. Oh, is there another Bidoof? Boo! Boop. Oh, it's more of a boop. Okay, got it. I, I I knew I I knew that I knew that I did the voice acting for Bidoof. I don't know if you know this. It's on my resume. If you look at it, it says YouTuber, Twitch streamer, Bidoof voice actor. Boop. See, look, come on, natural, all a natural right there. Don't you can't just voice acting. It's just in my blood, you know. It's just in my blood. If you were to see it, it'd be like type O negative. What what is this? What is this bacteria in there? Oh, that's pure voice acting skills right there. I don't know if I'm actually O negative. Oh, there you are! Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. I feel like I really want to know. I can't wait to look in post production what my face looks like when I make it because I feel like it's just so frightening. What the? Oh, it's you, Crimson. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter, Crimson. I'm out of here. See you later, nerd. All right. Everybody calls me a nerd. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. I really, I cannot wait. It's going to be an absolute treat to edit this episode. <laughs> well, well, look over here. Crimson, Roger, let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm, and trusting you with that Turtwig was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Uh, actually, no, I don't need to. I forgot. I was, I was like, oh boy, I can't wait to name it Shelly. Hmm, okay, I see, and you're happy with that nickname? When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was so flabbergasted. I was astounded by these foolhardy children, and now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Turtwig feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to, to I'll ask you to cherish that Turtwig of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to uh uh beat the crud out of you. I mean, uh nothing. I just can't say it. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to probably introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. That is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? What if I say no? Like, what if I don't... What? I don't want to run... I don't want to be your errand boy, you know? The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. 
Crimson, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon with this region in this region. I've got one too. <laughs> cool. When you walked up on Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Crimson, your grand adventure begins now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Piplup. If you would have chosen a Piplup on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but... Anyway, I'm Zon. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Crimson. All right, well, teach me things then. Teach me this wild, this wild world of Pokemon. Crimson! I have something good here. You should take this as well. Oh, is that return? That is a technical machine. That one contains the move return. Using a technical machine or TM for short teaches the move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. The move return gains the power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with a wish that your journey will be fun. Oh, wow. I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? He's been doing this for 60... Dawn, stop. Okay, Crimson, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Oh, what's this red roof building right here? This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. Gasp. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Really? Interesting. Hmm, go on. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Crimson, since you're a novice trainer, you'll be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Crimson. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. All right, so we're going to go to the Pokemon Center, and we are going to probably cut shortly to see to make sure all the eggs and whatnot are in the pc box all right that took much longer than necessary but you guys didn't see anything you guys were like crimson seabed what are you talking about you 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 rascal you but we've got everything in now the eggs should hatch the eggs should all be in we have the rare candies to level up the eggs and um i went on ahead and i did a random number generator and we are going all the way down to box eight and we are grabbing pokemon number two we have sahara here not holding anything, so that's good. So I don't gotta worry about that. So we will we will withdraw Sahara into the party and see the first starter for the our first Pokemon and our starter Pokemon for the Pokemon Platinum Random not randomizer. It's a Pokemon Platinum Egg Lock. What is it gonna be? I'm excited. Oh, <gasps> a Gibble! Let's go. Would I like to give a nickname to the newly hatched Gibble? Yes, I would. This is Miss Sahara. I am quite the fan. I am quite the fan of that. And we can check out her moveset and all that good stuff as well. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Thank you to whoever sent in Sahara. She is our beautiful starter Pokemon. It is wonderful. Let's check her out. Let's check her out and we will level her up to level six. We have here Sahara, the adamant Gibble. She has the sand veil ability with dragon breath, earthquake, iron head, and body slam. So thank you to whoever sent in Sahara. She is our wonderful, wonderful starter Pokemon. Let's go on ahead and we can put the Turtwig in the box because that's just how we roll. We'll move all these bad boys. Oh, and we're already on box eight. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put you right over here. And we're gonna give Miss Sahara her rare candies to level her up. And she is gonna be wonderful as always and perfect and precious. And I love her already. And she is just gonna be the best thing ever. She is just gonna be the absolute best thing ever. And I'm going to speed up through here. Uh, no, I don't wanna learn sand attack. We're gonna get her to level six right here. And we are good to go. And I'm actually going to wrap up this episode right here a little bit shorter as far as time goes. Uh, technical difficulties on my end, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Platinum Egglock. If you guys have, show some love in the like button down below. Don't forget to answer the question of the day in the comment section down below as well. If you're new, feel free to hit that subscribe button to episode two coming tomorrow. All that being said, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon.
Later.